I'm going to do a short video on this new robot toy I've been uh, working on. It has two functions. It goes forward and it will spin in one direction for steering. It's driven by a pickaxe board, the same board that I used on the last uh, design I put out and a Sony IR remote or a universal remote sending out Sony codes. So here we go forward, stop, reverse, forward kind of goes in an arc I'll try to explain that later or what I think is happening with it Now I'll explain a little about how, how it works. We have an N20 motor driving this bevel gear, driving these two bevel gears. When the motor drives this bevel gear, this one goes one direction, this one goes the opposite direction. The wheel over here is hooked straight to this gear, so when this motor is driven, uh, like I say, forward direction, the wheel spins forward. When the motor drives this gear in the reverse direction, this wheel spins in reverse. This wheel will always spin in the same direction. I'll try to show you that. Forward, reverse, forward, reverse. This wheel is hooked directly, this wheel is hooked directly to this center section here with the ratchet mechanisms. This wheel is hooked directly to this gear. To explain it a little better I'll show uh, show this part. We have two we have uh, the two gears in the center section the two ratchet mechanisms the wheels or the gears have a little ratchet here. So this so when this gear turns, let's say that this is the gear on uh, this side that drives a wheel. When it turns this way, it catches and drives this shaft which the other wheel will be uh, attached to. When it turns the other way it will catch on this side and slip on that side. And that will drive uh, the shaft in the opposite direction. This is the first uh, first iteration I did of it. You can see the gears are turning in opposite directions, now we're turning in the same direction. Kind of takes a minute to get your head around. This is based on a design I saw on YouTube by on this YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description of the video to that video. I'll also put a link in the video description showing the uh, tutorial I used to, to design these bevel gears which was quite a little adventure uh, but it, the tutorial was very good and uh, the gears worked in the end hopefully when uh, I get done I hope for it to look something like this Let me just zoom out a little
I hope that's showing up on the uh, on the camera. I would like to use this dome right here. It's a 50 millimeter dome, as this up here, and have a body probably with three AA cells. This is a battery holder out of one of those cheap dollar store flashlights that have three AA's and an LED in them. This, this is like 2.2 times scale so we'll probably fit back here uh, and maybe uh, an arm something like that maybe the arm would go up and down as it moved or something like that a little gun that moves back and forth not sure I'll explain why I think it's turning in a small radius now when it goes forward whoops when it goes forward it seems to go in an arc I believe the reason for that is these ratchets are springy and when they, they load up and then they release as they go over each each of these uh, these parts so I believe it's like a little hammer action that actually drives that one wheel a little faster than the others I may have to redo this ratchet design uh, we'll have to do something that has a spring that just the force goes up and down and not not around this center of the axle haven't quite figured that out yet this is its early stages you may be able to see that just a little bit as it you can see it kind of hammers it as it as this side goes over the uh, little ratchet mechanism Well, thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show some little some progress on this.